How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all. Hit that bell notification button so you guys do not miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. And if you guys would also please head over to Twitch. Follow me there at Douglas447. I stream there at least once a week whether it's for Call of Duty, Battlefield, Halo, Destiny 2. And of course if you guys have any movies or shows or games you guys want me to cover here on the channel please let me know in the comments section down below. And we're going to be talking positives and negatives, talking about a brand new movie, Jurassic Island, here in 2022. And we're going to answer the question, is this movie worth watching? Uh, this movie is an hour and 17 minutes long. Unfortunately, you can only get this movie digitally. Um, I have not been able to find it on disc, whether that's DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K. On average, it's going to cost you about $4 to rent, $8 to buy. I was able to find this on Google Play. I do not know if it's on any other services. And this film follows Ava and her team to locate her missing father that has lost on an island. And unbeknownst to them, it's got dinosaurs and other creepy killing machines. <sighs> when you watch the trailer. Let me just say this. If you've seen the trailer, don't watch this movie. If you haven't seen the trailer, watch the trailer. <laughs> Because this movie is utter crap. This movie is not worth $4 to rent. It's not worth $8 to buy. This movie's graphics, just watch the trailer and you can see what the graphics look like. It is astonishing that this movie came out here in 2022. The crap graphics, the CGI looks worse than something from the 90s. The 90s CGI looks better. 1990s CGI looks better than this by a mile. This is also, it is a dumb knockoff combination of not only Jurassic Park, but Treasure Island and The Walking Dead. And this is an unnecessary film. There is nothing in this movie that warrants its existence. This film is unnecessary. This made was made, this film, sorry, this film was made solely for the sake of the actors in this movie getting a paycheck and anyone that is associated with this movie should be ashamed of themselves they, they should be completely ashamed of themselves this movie even has zombie parasites and they were boring additions they didn't add anything like there's these parasites and they they're like leeches and then they they put their teeth into you and within i weird it's like one of them bites one of the characters and it turns them in like 10 minutes and then another time it bites them and it turns them into a zombie in 30 seconds and it's just really weird also there's another um another problem in this film the group goes the group of scientists they go to this island that is untouched by man it is completely untouched and Ava's grandpa went there, disappeared, and only one person survived. There was eight people that went with her grandpa, and only uh, one of them came back. Ava's dad and new mom went, and they've been gone. And it's like, why did the group of scientists not hire private security to protect them, considering the circumstances around this island? Like, it is stupid. Like... Have the military go in. No, we're going to have four scientists and a boat captain that's drunk off of his butt <laughs> go to this island where people are constantly going, disappearing, and never heard from again. The acting is terrible. The blood effects are garbage. I could make those blood effects out of ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the blood effects of this movie are worse than ketchup. <laughs> now, the film does have an interesting conclusion setting up a possible sequel. It has a cliffhanger. I, I cannot fathom anyone in their right mind, A, greenlighting a sequel, two, wanting to watch the sequel, and three... It, 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 oh, I, I know. This is this is not a normal video. <laughs> Normally I'm very positive. I do a mixture of positive and negatives. But 
there is literally nothing in this movie that is good. Everyone's death is predictable. You know exactly how the film's going to end. There's exposition dumping constantly just to explain things away. I am, I'm, this movie's not worth watching. Guys, seriously, don't rent this. Don't buy it. Watch the trailer. I beg you, watch the trailer. And you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Jurassic Island. More like a Jurassic disaster. <laughs> Shucks. Guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to give Jurassic Island from 2022 a 0 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.